Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Renner. Happy Wednesday. It's April 1st. We are going to do our Let's Find Out magazine. So if you could please get a marker and some crayons. If you would like to work on this with me today, you can, or you can just sit and listen. So the first step is we are going to read the title of the magazine. And if you look at the picture, you see a little girl and she is sniffing a flower. If you see a spring flower, you might bend down to sniff it, boys and girls. If you see a flower outside, you probably will bend down to sniff it. They smell so pretty. Boys and girls, please at this time, get your marker and we want you to write your name on the paper you're using. So if you have your paper and you want to do this with me, please write your name on your paper. I wrote my name on my paper, but you need your own paper or whiteboard at home to practice writing your name. So the next step is we are going to read about spring. We are going to read about spring, boys and girls. If you can bear with me, I will get this closer to you so you can see. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can back it up just a little bit so we can see. All right, so we are going to start with, let me see here. Sometimes this is a little tricky for Mrs. Runner to get it in the video the right way. So. We are gonna start, let's see. How about, what's going on with my paper here? Okay, I think we can start now. We're gonna start right here in the purple box. We're going to read together. You can just listen if you want. If you bend down to sniff the flower, you might see a worm on the ground. Boys and girls, if you go outside and you see a flower in your flower garden or your flower bed, you might see worms. You might see a worm. If a worm is on the ground, a bird might hop over and snatch it up. I think this bird needs to feed his baby chicks. So he is getting the worm to feed his baby chicks. Because in the next picture, you can see the bird with the worm. If a bird snatches up the worm, it might fly to its nest and feed its chicks. Look, there's a nest up here. This bird is going to feed his chicks. All right, let's look at this picture. If you look up to see if it fed its chicks, you might see more spring flowers because in the tree where the nest is, there are flowers that are blooming around the birds. You can see they're hungry. They have their mouth open. They want their mommy to feed them. So now boys and girls, let's look at this bottom picture here. I have to back this up a little bit so you can see. We have some flowers here. There's different flowers that you're going to see in spring. In spring, flowers bloom. That means they come up out of the ground and they grow and they open up and you see their beautiful colors. That's what blooming means. That means they grow and open up. Here are some of the first flowers to bloom in spring. So we have the daffodil right here and the crocus and the tulip. Oh, I hear my chicks peeping they must be hungry can you peep like a chick boys and girls can you use your imagination and pretend you're a, a baby chick and can can you chirp or peep like a like a chick peep 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 can you can you sound like a birdie like a chick that's fun to make noises boys and girls now on the back of this paper we have, let's see, we have some words that we have to look at. Turn it over. The 
this is where you need your marker or your crayon. I think you should probably use a light color crayon to do this because we have to color some of these letters. And if you use marker, you can see in my example, I, I covered up the letter. So if you want, you can use a crayon or a marker. I'm going to show you how to do this. So because you don't have this magazine at home, you're, you're going to probably just try to write the word with me. You can say it and you can spell it out loud with me and then you're going to try to write the word. So you don't have to worry about coloring these letters because you don't have this paper. The only thing that you're going to try to do is write the word. Okay? So, I'm going to do the first one. Boys and girls, what is this a picture of? Can you say it? bird good now we are going to spell the word bird this is a letter b b b when you say the word bird the first letter sound you hear is b that's a letter b so i colored in the letter b now the next letter is the letter i b erd and then an R, and then a D, D, bird. So each letter I colored is in the order of how we're going to spell it. So over here, if you want to try to spell the word bird, you can. So the first letter is a B, B, erd. So the next letter is an I, and then an R, and then a D, bird. Good job, boys and girls. Now let's look at the next picture. This is, what is this, boys and girls? Can you say it? It's a worm. All of these pictures were in our story that we just read. So this is a worm. So Mrs. Renner has to look at which letter starts with the letter worm. So let's sound it out. Wuh, wuh. Worm. Wuh, wuh, wuh. What letter do you hear? Wuh. W W W. So I'm going to color lightly the W. Now, worm. It's hard to hear the O because of the bossy R, but it's worm. So the next letter is O. What? Erm. Erm. Worm. W O R M. Now I'm going to use my darker color so you can see the word I'm spelling. So you want to try to spell it with me now. You're going to write it. Ready? Worm. W W O R Worm M M M at the end. So we just spelled the word worm. W O R M. Now the next picture is a nest. There's an arrow pointing for me. They're pointing at the nest. So we have to figure out the first letter in the word nest. N, n. What letter would that be, boys and girls? I hope you're saying it at home. N, n, n. So I found the letter N. N, e, n, e, st, e, e. So we did n, e, You hear that sound? S. Let's review. N, e, st. Boys and girls, that's a T sound. Boys and girls, if you try to make the sounds of the letter, you can figure out how to write words and how to read words. You just need to know the sounds of the letters. You need to know the letters and you need to know the sounds that the letters make. And for the most part, you can write words and you can try to read words. You just have to stretch the sound out. So. We did the first letter of the word nest, n. 
N, N, E, F, E, S, T, T. Nest, boys and girls. Look at that. This is hard. If this is too hard for you, it's okay. Take a break from it and come back or maybe ask for a grown up to help you. We have a bonus question down here. This word has five letters. Hmm. Well, let's see. It is a flower, but I don't see any letter F, so I'm problem solving here. It was in the story. Oh, oh, bloom, bloom, b. This flower is blooming. It opened up right here, bloom. So boys and girls, when you say the word b, bloom, b, b, what do you hear? What's the first letter? B, b, good. All right, so let's sound this word out. B, o, o, l. Bloom. There are two O's in a row, boys and girls. This is tricky, but over time, as you get older, you'll learn this. Remember, this is a tricky one. That's why it's called a bonus, bonus um, question. Bloom. Mm, mm. What do you hear at the end? M. Great job. So now we have to try to spell it over here. If you want, you can spell it on your paper at home. Ready? B, B, O, O, L, M, O, O, M, M. Bloom, boys and girls. So those are the words. If you want to try to write those, you you can. If it's tricky, it's okay. No worries. Just get help from a grown-up if you want to practice writing these words and sounding them out, boys and girls. I'm proud of you for trying. This is hard. This is hard work. I hope that you're learning, and I hope that you're happy, and we miss you. We're going to do more videos tomorrow for you, boys and girls. I hope you have a happy Wednesday. And before we go, give yourself... Um, a pat on your back. Do you remember how to pat your back? You take your hand and go, good job. Good job. Thank you for trying and thank you for listening, boys and girls. Have a great day. Bye-bye.